Hello, 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 and welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. My name is Hamilton, I'm going to be walking you through some technical analysis today, much like I did yesterday, and the day before that, and every day. So, before we begin, I do want to just say that this is not financial advice, this is never financial advice on this channel, so do not take what I say and trade with it, just, uh, just gather this information and make up your own mind, right? Um, apart from that, I do have a Telegram group open, so feel free to join that, that is t.me slash Algo box. Oh, this is the strategy. I'm not going to show you that because that's 100%. But um, yeah, <laughs> not going to show that. Um, today, 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 just, just going to address people in the telegram real quickly. Then we'll get onto the super duper technical analysis, whatever. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I guess. But uh, we'll, we'll get into the technical analysis just after this. I'm just going to walk you through the algorithms and what's happening, right? Um, so this one's actually still um, trending towards the upside here, you can see. But if we do close a three hour below 82, uh, 80, somewhere around there, 82, 85, then uh, that's going to be a short signal and we're going to take a short scalp off of that in the Telegram group. Um, again, two weeks free trial if you aren't in there already, but that's, that's essentially what we're doing at the moment. Uh, when it comes to the gold mine here, you can see we, we didn't take this signal uh, and we've just been out of the range so we haven't had a, uh, a signal in a day so far. I wasn't actually expecting to get a signal today but it's looking more and more likely that we will. Um, we, we are in the middle of a drop here and we have basically bounced off this resistance point. You can see this green line up here, right, which is coming in around 8900 if I'm correct. Yeah, somewhere around there. So um, yeah, we've kind of bounced off there and now we're just kind of doing some rolling hills towards the downside. If this 377 doesn't hold, then it is going to be more of a progressive move down and then we will actually get a short signal. Um, but with a short signal, it needs to be um, before the last 25% of the day because once we do hit that last 25% of the day, uh, we, we will move our stop to our entry point or we'll close the trade if it's at a loss, right? Um, that's just how we do this, this indicator and that's just how it works and that's why it's so profitable. A lot of these trades are 20% ROE with 10x leverage. So um, yeah, well, if, if you're in the Telegram, you know that anyway. But yeah, we're waiting on the signal. If it is a $100 dump uh, in one candle, then we're not gonna take it. It's too abrupt, it's gonna be too aggressive and it basically invalidates the signal, right? But if it is gonna be a bouncy bounce towards the downside, just some rolling hills, some progressive action uh, in, in a bearish, momentous way, then uh, it's gonna be a lot more likely that this short, this short signal is gonna be more valid. And uh, because of this yesterday's big, big ass pump, then uh, it means this trade could potentially be a huge one uh, if it does come in, right? So what we're looking for here is, wow, okay, well that's that's a huge trade. <laughs> that's a huge trade. Uh, it's coming down all the way to just uh, just below 8,100. So if that does come in and we do get this short signal and this does come in, that's gonna be a, uh, like a 47% increase on one trade. That's crazy. Uh, do I expect this to happen? Probably not. Um, the way the way the gold mine works is generally uh, with a bigger range like this. Sometimes we do get the dump through and we do get this trade and it, it is profitable. But other times it's more likely to either. Basically, if we've already been trending down, we're coming from the top of the range. Then I would say we're we're likely to either break even or um, we'll, we'll hold this trade with our stop loss here, right? And then we won't hit our stop loss and we'll come into the next day and the range will be a lot uh, a lot thinner, right? It will be a lot. I think it would be something more like this, somewhere around here. So uh, we'll be looking for more of that, that kind of target. Eh, maybe not that low, maybe not that low. Maybe I'm exaggerating here. Maybe it'll be something like, mm, yeah, we'll probably actually keep this. So yeah, maybe 8,200 or something like that. But still, that's, that's a big ass trade. Uh, if it does go through to the next day, if it does hit today, then obviously it's gonna be 47. But if it, if it hits tomorrow and we don't get stopped out at a break even, which means we haven't lost anything guys. So it's just, a tr it's a free trade, free money or break even, you know, so um, yeah, it's gonna be 33% or 47% uh, if that's my, if, if I'm correct there. I could be wrong there with that, with that secondary uh, take profit if, if it does get to the second day so just bear that in mind if we do come down but it does look like we are dropping a bit too aggressively for my liking i would like to see uh this kind of curl over on the 377 this blue one and then kind of make its way up and then bounce all the way down but that's uh that's it for the algorithms for now i think we're we're going to move to the technical analysis because this is important um we've got a lot of macro things to talk about uh just going to finish off my coffee here give me a second guys hmm Fantastic. Right. So it's 11.24 in the a.m. for me in Thailand. Well, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Uh, actually, we're going to get rid of that for now because I just want to talk about uh, patterns, 
supports, resistances, trap zones, all of that good stuff. And if you are a regular on this channel, a regular in the Telegram, then you will know exactly what I'm about to say. But it's good to keep it fresh in your mind, so stick around while we get through this. Um, so we've got these two uh, descending trend lines here, right? And these are what I like to call trap zones. And a lot of people don't draw this on Bitcoin. I like to draw this on Bitcoin. I, I draw on a few assets that are volatile and assets that like to trap people with, with the whales basically just um, skirting it around, right? Uh, so trap zones are very, very important, in my opinion, on Bitcoin. And a lot of people don't draw them. They just draw their, their resistance point. If we break that, it's done, right? Um, and our resistance point here was was here, right? And we, we broke it a few times and then just got trapped out, right? So um, I would say... I would say keep this in and, and you should probably draw it on your charts. I think there is a way I can copy and paste this chart into the Telegram group and um, and basically give it to you guys. I'll, I'll try and figure that out and, and then you can actually have this and you can you can copy and paste all of this and move it around if you want um, and just put it on your screen, which is good, right? So yeah, if I can do that, that'd be great. But for now, let's just talk about this trap zone. We are inside of the trap zone here. We are inside of it, much like we, we got into it and we got rejected from it here. Uh, at 10,500, 13,000, 14,000, etc., etc. This has been the area where it's it's it has slowly been converging inwards, as you can see as well. But uh, this has been the area that's this the bit we can't get past. And if we can get past this, and I've been saying if we if we can close a daily or even a 12-hour uh, open and close over this line, it would be fantastic. I'd I mean I'm going to be a bit more bullish if, if we even wick over this line, right? Because we haven't even wicked over it yet. Uh, if we if we can zoom out here. We haven't even wicked over it uh, since our 14k thing, right? Um, and I like to draw these a little bit lower simply because it's uh, it's, it's very volatile and like uh, our support can come in lower if, if we want it to be, right? We, we go with the more correlating points and that's these points rather than this point uh, coming down, right? So yeah, this is kind of the, the end all do all trap zone. We're kind of in the, the, the liquidation area right now and we are just getting back down to 8600, right? We're at 8900 before, so um, I guess people are getting liquidated and I have been saying to people that uh, a scam work to 9100 is entirely possible and we've basically almost got there. We got there, uh, I said that way back though, uh, when when 9100 was was a, a, a place that we could get to. Uh, it seems that we are dumping here, we are dumping, so I, I might need to end this video abruptly and just uh, and give you guys the signal in here, but it, it, as I said, if it is a $100 dump, then we're not going to take it. Um, so if we do dump $100 from here in the next five minutes or so, then we're not going to take this uh, this trade because it's too aggressive and it'll just bounce, <laughs> right? It'll just turn out to be a trap usually. So uh, what was I saying? As we as we are talking about this, we're talking about the trap zone, right? And you will see that this actually does potentially hold here, where we do get a bounce off of this area uh, and we do stick around this trap zone for a little bit longer. Um, if we do just smash out of it, then it's not a problem. Uh, we'll probably retest it and that's going to be a very nice area to short from. Um, I won't be giving a signal in the group because that group's only for algorithms, but what I will be doing here is probably shorting uh, on a retest of this, something like this, right? Um, and we can see that we've done this before a lot of the time where we've, we've come out of the trap zone, we've retested it here. You can see here, right, exactly the same thing happening uh, and the same here, right, where we've come out um, we've broken it and we've retested it and then we get a nice short in and if you were watching the channel back then I was getting shorts in and making dollar dollar bills so um yeah same thing here this is something I want to point out and I want to bring attention to because if you are manually trading guys you need to be aware of this and you need to be uh, having this in your mind when we do break resistances right don't just don't just short if we break a, a support right or, or long if you break a resistance you need to wait for the retest and if the retest looks like it's curling over that's when you short and that's where you long uh, and you can see here um, even though these turned out to be traps there were very nice trades here like multiple hundred dollar trades like four percent trades um, which is big trades here right um, so again when we broke a support and we retest it that's when you want to get in um, when it's when well basically you can have the tightest stop possible um, you're all good and like the, the risk reward is just the best at these times, right? Same here, same here. Like uh, even though that was like a hundred dollar move, that's still a nice trade. Um, with a seven thousand dollar Bitcoin, that's like a two percent trade nearly, right? So just bear that in mind uh, going forward. If we do do something like this, and I do expect this to happen actually. This is probably my most likely scenario uh, where we do come out of this trap zone eventually and we'll retest it and then we'll curl over and then we'll do this. This is probably like my, my most likely scenario here uh, just to do that and then decide what we want to do, right? Because it's, it's, it's very easy for a lot of YouTubers to say, it's going up, it's going down, and this is why. Um, the, a lot of that is very wrong, and people do that just so they can get views. Uh, I'm, I'm a lot more honest here, and 
I'm, I'm more reactive, right? So if, if this happens, I expect this to happen. If this happens, I expect this to happen, etc. right? So um, in terms of this scenario, if we break over this, if this happens where we break over this line, then I expect us to retest it and potentially continue up. And uh, like our barrier is just gone from there and the sky is the limit until we get to this guy. Um, and wh wherever that gets to, uh, right now it's coming in around 11,000. If we were just to continue to be parabolic here, um, 11,000. Is, is, is a potential price for Bitcoin here. Um, but again, we are we are at this trap zone and we have, it does look like we're getting rejected again. Just to, just to be bluntly honest here, it does look like we are getting rejected here. Um, we're gonna see if this support holds on this side. Uh, and I did say this would hold for a little bit, but I mean, it's rough, it's rough. That's a engulfy, just the dirty mess. <laughs> it's a dirty mess. And yesterday, uh, if you remember, I did say that we, we consolidate in this area. So we will just, we will look at this, uh, this as well. I don't think the 30 minute worked here. Did it work? Eh, I wouldn't call that working. Let's see the the one hour. Yeah, so you could have you could have made a few trades here. You could have made a few trades. I did say this something like this would happen, right? Where it's um, <coughs> just for a few few candles at least, right? Um, I was expecting something a little bit more like this, where it'd be flat. We consolidate and we can get a, a, some very nice trades there. But you could do the same thing here. Um, where you, you long and short from the center of the range, bang, 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 making all of the money, all of the trades, because it's very volatile in those areas, right? A lot of people don't know what to do in these areas, and that is exactly what we need to do. Um, I will be giving this range indicator to you guys in the Telegram at some point. I'm just trying to get it ready, trying to get it secure so people can't steal it for now, right? <clears throat> so this, this support does seem to be holding for now. It does seem to be holding. We will see how this goes in the next 30 minutes, but um, yeah. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It, we might stay in this range and consolidate, as I said, uh, or we might bring the range down a little bit and just tread along this line for a little bit. And uh, well, we haven't actually tested the top side yet completely. Uh, I am expecting to hit this. Just at even if it's a wick, just hit this once before coming down. If it is bearish, uh, it would make sense to hit this once up at nine thousand. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we could go up there. But if, if we do come down, I'm, I'm expecting the retest and I'm gonna be shorting the retest. And that's that's essentially my plan here uh, for, for the, for the I guess, medium term, right? <laughs> for the next month or so. Uh, apart from that, we're gonna be following our algorithms in, oh, no, not gonna show you guys that. This is something I'm experimenting with if you, if you are interested. I'm just trying to basically find some strategies that work. Oh, we did get a short here. Oh, nice. I missed that, gutted. <laughs> so we got short, uh, the long would have closed. Okay, just a little peek through the blinds at some of the stuff I do. <laughs> but yeah, again, uh, the fact that we bounced on this is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, the 377 on the five minute lining up with this line perfectly. So it does look like it wants to bounce here. I would expect this to bounce uh, for a little bit, for a little bit, just uh, something like this and then continuation to the downside. And this is going to be where we could potentially get our short signal. Uh, but then we're going to have basically this kind of this length of time before we need to essentially come down and get this this purple line out of reach uh, because when we do hit this this last 25 percent this is when our stop is going to move here and we can't hit this line again because we're going to break even we want to make a profitable trade rather than a break even right <laughs> so um that's essentially the plan here just to try to come down um hit that take profit make all of the dollar dollar bills and that's going to be a 50 percent return on investment if we get this trade if we do uh, we could still bounce up from here but it's not looking good right now for bitcoin um it does look like it wants to bounce a little bit as i said we're bouncing off this line so maybe we will just curl over uh, and bounce along this support area for now um for the next hours or so but yeah while we're in this trap zone i do want to exercise caution here um don't be, don't be just spamming trades in and out uh, unless you're doing the, the ranger strategy with this range indicator. Um, besides that, I would say just, just be cautious. Just wait to see what happens. This is a tornado right now. This is, this is going to be a disgusting hurricane that you don't want to be involved in really unless you're very, very experienced in the scalping and, and getting that volatility because when this does pop out, it's going to be uh, a lot more confirmational, right? Whichever side we land on, whichever side we start closing candles on is going to be the side that is most likely to, to, to bang us in a direction, right? So just keep that in mind going forward. Follow the telegram. 
um, join it, t.me slash algobox, but that's basically going to be the video, so um, I hope you've enjoyed it, please make sure to like it, it helps me out, it helps me with those YouTube algos, and if guys, if you, if you do own any code, and you do want to work with me on making some indicators, then feel free to, to drop me a message on the Telegram, because I'm, I'm looking for more indicators so we can get more profit in the group. Right now, our, our group's profit is about 100% a month, which is fantastic, it's really good, don't get me wrong, but I'm always building, always aiming for higher things, right, and I want you guys to make more money as well, right? <laughs> so, um, if we could get that up to 150%, even if it is just some scalp trades, uh, a five minute indicator that works or something, um, then feel free to drop me a message and we can work something out, right? But apart from that, that's going to be the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, leave me a comment on any of your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and goodbye from Bitcoin Beats.